Hello, Gordon here. Hope all is well with you. This Facebook Live I've called Do the Right Thing. And if that means you fly alone, dot, 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 then fly alone. And it's looking at one of my quote images. It's a quote image I took the photo on August the 6th, back in 2015, down at Whitstable in Kent, here in the southeast of uh, Great Britain. And I posted the video in the group and I'll post the, um, the photo again below this video once I've finished the video. So do the right thing. And if you fly alone, then fly alone. And it seems to work with that image of, a, of an isolated bird enjoying the sunset as much as I was. So what do I mean by doing the right thing? Well, I'm a big fan of integrity. I think of integrity as one of my words. If we all got words that we describe ourselves with, if we narrow that down to five words or three words, then integrity is definitely going to be one of mine. And integrity has lots of different meanings, but one of them might be treat other people in the same way that you'd want to be treated yourself. That is doing the right thing. That is integrity. And it may seem obvious. Yeah, treat other people as you'd want to be treated yourself. Do the right thing. Yeah, obvious, common sense. But if that's the case then, why is it that so many people don't do the right thing? They don't do the right thing by other people. They, they do something that they clearly know is not their best and is not the right thing for other people. Well, two reasons. One of them is education that they they might just not know that what they're doing is not the right way to treat other people they may have been brought up acting in a certain way so they might think that the way they're acting is the right way towards other people that's perfectly possible that's an education issue and of course education can be well you can be re-educated or you can educate yourself the second case is why people don't treat people right is peer pressure. They know that they're treating people wrongly. They know that they're not doing the right thing. They know that they're not acting with integrity. But they act like that because their peer pressure is. Again, that could be due to their upbringing. So it could be their family. It could be their friends. It could be their work colleagues. It could be their immediate social circle around them. If all of those people are acting in one way, and you know that it's not the right way to treat other people, but to act differently, you're going to completely isolate yourself. It's easier, isn't it, to just fit in, to do the same as everyone else, even if that means you're treating other people wrongly. Because we do all like to fit in with crowds, that is part of human nature, and it makes life easier for ourselves. Doesn't it? Well, in the short term, perhaps. But in the medium slash long term, no doesn't make it easier at all. It is doing a disservice to not only yourself, but a disservice clearly to everyone else around you. Because the longer you carry on acting in a way that you know is not the best, it's not right by other people, and it's not with integrity, the longer you carry on doing that, clearly you're entrenching and increasing this gap between the real you and the actual you that you're presenting to the world. Because we all know what the real us is, what the real authentic us is, what the best version of ourselves is. We all know it. So if we're acting in a way that is different to that, that is gonna create a gap, a disconnect, frustration, stress, anger, unfulfillment. And there's a lot of unpleasant words in there, isn't there? It's quite, it's quite a big list. And talking about treating others with integrity and doing the right thing to others, don't forget, just as importantly, is doing the right thing for yourself. Treating yourself with integrity. And that means following your genuine path. You are allowed to go for your dreams. You are allowed to follow your passions. You are allowed to do what you want. That is integrity for yourself. That is doing the right thing for yourself. And again, the reason we don't do that is probably a fear of isolation, fear of failure, fear of looking foolish, fear of being disconnected from our crowd, fear of having to fly alone. 
looking back at the quote image. Well, I would say two things. One, there's nothing wrong with flying alone if, it, if you know that it's the right thing to do and it's the best you. Be proud of it. Stand up for it. Be prepared to defend the right thing. There's nothing wrong with that. And the second answer I would have is, although you might feel isolated from your crowds, your family, your friends, your work colleagues, your peer pressure, you might feel isolated and you might actually be isolated. There is also a crowd that you can join and will support you, which means you won't believe you won't be flying alone for long. So you might think, oh, I don't want to isolate myself. I don't want to be alone. Well, that's going to be short term. I can, I can absolutely guarantee you there is a massive crowd of people in the world who are all about doing the right thing. Respect, integrity, authenticity, the best version of ourselves. There is a massive crowd of people who are all about that, certainly in the offline world, but absolutely 100% in the online world. So one of the reasons I call the internet a staggering abundance of wealth and opportunity because you will always find a crowd to fit into. And that crowd online is not hard to find, I can assure you. And another reason that you won't have to be alone for long is that if by doing the right thing, if by acting with integrity, you isolate yourselves from your offline groups, Here's a possibility. It could be that people in those offline groups start to think, well, hang on. If this person is acting with integrity and doing the right thing and the world hasn't crashed, maybe it's OK if I start doing the right thing and acting with integrity. So it could be that you're drawing people away from the path of not doing the right thing towards the crowd of doing the right thing. I consider that a bonus, by the way. I'm not saying you should go out and be a cheerleader for doing the right thing. I mean, I, I consider myself that is that is something I do because clearly I'm proactive in putting a message out there and I'm passionate about the message and I'm unapologetic about the message. So am I trying to lead other people in that direction? Yes, but not everyone has to. I'm not saying that you have to be a cheerleader and a trailblazer and a banner waver for doing the right thing. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be better if you do the right thing? And if other people come along, that's a bonus. Let's not let's not be under any misunderstanding about that. So, yeah, doing the right thing. And although it might seem difficult and awkward and a pain in the a pain in the neck, sometimes it's, it's a lot easier than you might have thought it is. You might think, yeah, I'm gonna do the right thing and it's gonna isolate me from my crowd. But actually, when you do the right thing, all the people around you just go, mm, and they just shrug their shoulders and don't really pay any attention to it at all. Some people are a lot less concerned about what we're doing than we actually think they are. It's not that much of a big deal. Now, clearly, on some occasions, it is gonna be a big deal. Again, I'm not saying oh, it's always going to be easy to do the right thing. That would be silly. Clearly, it isn't always easy to do the right thing. But that's part of the point, isn't it? Integrity is about doing the right thing when it's not easy. That's the whole point in integrity. If you say, oh, well, I'm only going to do the right thing when it's easy. And if it's not easy to do the right thing, oh, I'm going to do the wrong thing because it's OK every now and again, isn't it? Well, that is not integrity. <laughs> integrity is not a sometimes when you feel like it thing. No, absolutely not. So there we go. I hope you like that message. Do the right thing. And if that means you fly alone, then fly alone. <laughs> Actually, that quote image on my page, the Transform Your Life Now page, that is the most, the single most shared quote image on my page. I like it, it's one of my favourites, and it's why I always enjoy talking about it, as you might have guessed. So I hope you like that message, I hope you see some value in it. If you do, uh, I would ask you to hit the like button, because via the social media algorithms, that helps me spread my message further, and as I've already said, it is a message I'm passionate 
and unapologetic about. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below wherever you happen to be seeing this video. I would appreciate that. I love to hear what you think. I love the feedback. Signing off for now, wishing you as ever health and happiness. I'll speak to you again soon.